Kardashian filed for divorce in early 2021. Kim and Kanye may not be a couple anymore but they are still wildly supportive of each other. The Skims founder, 40, along with all four of her kids with West, North, 8, Saint, 5, Chicago, 3, and Psalm, 2, joined in the festivities at Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium for a listening event celebrating West's eagerly anticipated Donda album, TMZ reported. Earlier, West donated thousands of free tickets to students from several Atlanta-area historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, including Clark Atlanta University, Morehouse College and Spelman College. The couple has seamlessly transitioned into co-parenting their brood amid their upcoming divorce. Earlier this week Page Six exclusively reported that they had taken a family trip to San Francisco. They are getting along great, and it was their first public outing together as a family, reconfirming that they are in lockstep when it comes to co-parenting and putting their kids first, a source in San Francisco told Page Six. Last month Kardashian raved about her soon-to-be ex on a Keeping Up with the Kardashians reunion special. That was my friend first and foremost for a long time, so I can't see that going away, she told Andy Cohen. I will forever be Kanye's biggest fan. He's the father of my kids. Kanye will always be family. Kardashian added that she and West now have an amazing co-parenting relationship and that she respect, s, him so much. Amid mounting speculation on the album's release date, West, 44, confirmed it would drop on Friday by including a sample from a track No Child Left Behind, in a Beats by Dre ad featuring elite athlete Shakari Richardson. The commercial aired during Game 6 of the NBA Finals. The record named after the rapper's late mother will be his 10th studio album. The buzz around the new music has been intense. Web personality LaBoy tweeted that he had heard the album along with Kevin Durant of the NBA's Brooklyn Nets. 